Hey everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be more of a level three twisting class. We get into a whole bunch of arm balances and some really fun transitions. If you enjoy these classes, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you have feedback, you wanna know more, whatever, let me know in the comments below or head over to my Instagram. We're gonna get started today in a comfortable cross-legged position. Sitting in a comfortable cross-legged position, take an inhale, step nice and tall through the spine. Exhale, feel the shoulders move away from the ears. Nice deep breath, inhale through the nose, feel the spine grow long. Exhale, feel the tension leave the body. On your next inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, left hand, right knee, right hand behind you. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, ground down through the hips as you move the rib cage towards the back of the room. One more breath here. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, twist a little further. Inhale, take the arms up and over head. Exhale, right hand, left knee, left hand behind you. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, left hip forward, left rib cage back. One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come back through center, raise the arms up and overhead. And then as you exhale, tabletop position. Ground down through the left hand as you inhale, sweep the right arm to the sky, open up through the chest. Exhale, thread the needle, right hand comes to hover. Inhale, open the right arm to the sky. Exhale, thread it under. One more like that, inhale. Exhale, this time bring the right hand down to the floor and maybe the right ear down to the floor. Maybe the left hand comes up and behind the back, grabbing for the right hip crease. Maybe the left leg extends behind you, maybe it lifts up off the ground. If you lifted the leg, bring it back down, plant the left hand by the face. As you inhale, unwind the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, plant it down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread it through. Inhale, open. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, this time set the left hand down, set the left ear down, maybe the right hand wraps around, maybe the right leg extends, maybe you lift that foot to hover. Left, uh, sorry, right hip working down as the right rib cage works up towards the sky. Set the right knee down if you lifted it, set the right hand down. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, tabletop position. Take an inhale here. Exhale. Tuck under the toes, take an inhale, neutral spine. And then as you exhale, lift the knees to hover. Take an inhale in your bear. As you exhale, you're just gonna tap the right knee towards the left elbow. Inhale into your bear. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale into your bear. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, bear. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale into your bear. One more time on each side. Inhale into your bear. Exhale, set the knees down. Untuck the toes, inhale, cow belly breath. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow belly. Exhale, cat. 
one more inhale exhale tuck under the toes as you inhale lift the hips up and back downward facing dog exhale here inhale ripple through to your plank exhale downward dog drop the heels to the right inhale ripple forward twisted plank exhale send it back drop the heels to the left inhale ripple forward twisted plank exhale bring it back heels to center inhale ripple forward into your plank this time as you exhale you're going to lift the right hand tap the left ankle inhale ripple forward see if you can keep that right hand off until the last second and then as you exhale send it back tap left hand right ankle inhale bring it forward keep the left hand floating as long as you can exhale to switch right hand left ankle inhale it forward exhale left hand right ankle inhale it forward one more time on each side Exhale, right hand to left ankle, this time stay. Draw the right elbow off to the right, gaze out underneath the left armpit. And then look back towards the center, glue the right hand to the side of the body as you shift forward, coming into a single arm plank. Take an inhale here. Exhale, single arm downward dog. Inhale, single arm plank. Exhale, single arm dog. Hips stay even. One more. Inhale into your plank. Exhale, take it back. Set the right hand down. Reach the left hand back for the right ankle. Draw the left elbow off to the left and then look out underneath the right shoulder. Keep sending the heels down towards the floor. Look towards centre, glue the left hand to the side of the body. Inhale, ripple forward, single arm plank, both hips face the ground. Exhale, single arm dog. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, take it back. One more. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, take it back. Plant the left hand down. Inhale, ripple forward into your plank. As you exhale, right elbow, uh, sorry, right knee to left elbow. Inhale into plank. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale into plank. Two more on each side. Exhale. Inhale, plank. Exhale, twist. Inhale, plank. Last ones. Inhale into your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Heels drop to the right. Inhale, ripple forward. Keep the twist as you exhale, twisted chaturanga. Inhale, twisted plank. Exhale, downward dog. Send the heels over to the left. Keep the twist as you inhale it forward. Exhale to lower. Inhale to plank. Exhale, take it back. Heels in neutral, take an inhale in your downward facing dog. And then as you exhale, start to walk yourself all the way to the top of the mat. Left hand comes to the center as you inhale. Right hip down, right arm up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, open up to the left. Exhale it down. One more time on each side, knees as bent as you need. Inhale, come into a halfway lift, lengthen the spine. 
exhale, fold forward. Inhale, raise all the way up. Hips keep facing forward as you exhale, right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, take it to the other side. Inhale, bring it up. One more time each side. Exhale, fold forward. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, step walk or float, chaturanga. Inhale, straight back to plank. Exhale, downward dog. Step walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale to raise. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale to dog. Step, walk or float. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale to raise. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale to dog. Step, walk or float. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale to raise. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale to dog. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale to raise, exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen, exhale chaturanga. Inhale to plank, exhale to dog. Step walk or float. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Inhale to raise, we're gonna do five more. Exhale to fold. Inhale lengthen, Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, dog. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, dog. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, raise. Final three. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Step, walk or float. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Step, walk or float. Inhale, exhale, inhale, final round, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Step, walk or float. Inhale, exhale, chair pose, inhale, open twist right, exhale, inhale chair, open twist left, exhale, inhale, two more on each side, exhale right, inhale center, exhale left, inhale center, exhale, inhale, Exhale, raise to stand, inhale, open twist right, exhale, hips face forward, inhale, maybe raise onto the tippy toes, exhale, heels down, open twist left, inhale, tippy toes, this time stay on the toes as you exhale, twist right, 
inhale center exhale twist left inhale center drop the heels as you exhale fold forward inhale lengthen exhale fold surya b inhale chair pose exhale forward fold inhale lengthen exhale step walk or float inhale plank exhale down dog right foot steps as you inhale twisted crescent right arm back left arm forward exhale cartwheel the hands down option for single leg vinyasa downward dog left leg steps as you inhale left arm picks you up twisted crescent exhale cartwheel the hands down option keep the left leg floating chaturanga inhale to plank exhale to dog step walk or float inhale lengthen exhale fold inhale chair pose exhale fold forward inhale lengthen exhale step walk or float inhale plank exhale dog. right leg steps inhale twisted crescent exhale your vinyasa left leg steps inhale twisted crescent exhale your vinyasa step walk or float inhale lengthen exhale fold inhale chair exhale fold inhale lengthen exhale chaturanga inhale plank exhale dog right leg steps inhale raise up exhale vinyasa left leg steps inhale exhale vinyasa step walk or float inhale lengthen exhale fold inhale chair exhale fold three more rounds inhale lengthen exhale step walk or float inhale plank exhale dog right leg steps inhale exhale vinyasa left leg steps inhale exhale vinyasa step walk or float inhale lengthen exhale fold inhale chair exhale fold inhale lengthen exhale chaturanga inhale plank exhale door right leg steps inhale exhale vinyasa left leg steps inhale exhale vinyasa step walk or float inhale lengthen exhale fold inhale chair last round exhale fold inhale lengthen exhale chaturanga inhale plank exhale door right leg steps inhale exhale vinyasa left leg steps inhale exhale vinyasa
step walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Open, twist right. Exhale. Inhale, chair. Open, twist left. Inhale, chair. Maybe raise the heels as you exhale. Open, twist right. Inhale, chair. Maybe raise the heels as you exhale. Open, twist left. Inhale to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Ground down through the right hand. Shift it forward into your plank. And then open up into side plank. Right hand down, left arm up. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale, sweep that right arm underneath the body. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, thread the needle. The hips don't come along for the ride. Inhale, open. Exhale to twist. Two more. Inhale, open it up. Set the left foot down. As you exhale, you're going to crunch right knee, left elbow. Inhale, extend everything long. Exhale, right, uh, sorry, left elbow, right knee. Inhale, send it long. Bottom knee, top arm. Exhale to crunch. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to crunch. Inhale to lengthen. One more time. Exhale to crunch. Inhale, lengthen into your side plank. Exhale, chaturanga, option, single leg. Inhale to plank. Exhale, side plank on the left. Inhale, sweep that right arm up. Hips stay still as you exhale, thread that right arm underneath. Inhale to open. Exhale to thread. Two more. Doing really bad with counting. I meant three more. Inhale the right arm up. Set the right foot down, right elbow, left knee as you exhale. Crunch. Inhale, extend long. Exhale, bottom knee, top elbow. Inhale it long. Four more. Inhale into your side plank. Exhale, chaturanga, option single leg. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog. Left, uh, left hand reaches for right ankle. You can stay here in the twist or start to get light on the left foot. As you exhale, you're going to float the left leg up. Inhale, you're going to tap it down. Exhale, float it up. Inhale, tap it down. Take three more breaths. You can always choose just to hold the leg floating if that's enough of a challenge. Set the left foot down. Glue the left hand to the side body. Inhale, ripple forward into your single arm plank. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, single arm plank. Exhale, send it back. So it's really good for your shoulder stabilizers. Inhale, send it forward. Exhale, take it back, set the left hand down. Right hand reaches for left ankle. You can choose to stay or start to get light on the right foot. As you exhale, you're gonna lift the leg up. Maybe you stay or as you inhale, you're gonna tap it down. Exhale to lift. So we're taking three more breaths.
set the right foot down, glue the right hand to the side body, inhale, shift it forward, both hips are evenly facing the floor, exhale, one arm dog, inhale, single arm plank, exhale, single arm dog, one more, inhale, exhale, set both hands down, look to the top of the mat, step walk or float, inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold, left hand comes to centre, both hips face down, inhale, open the right arm up, exhale to centre, right hand down, inhale, sweep the left arm up, exhale to centre, inhale, come into a halfway lift, hands come to the shins and then as you exhale capital T gentle bend in the arms the hips keep facing down the torso rotates open towards the right the left hand coming towards the floor exhale back to your capital T inhale right hand down left hand up you might not get a huge range of movement and that's fine inhale to your capital T one more each side Inhale, capital T, exhale to fold. Inhale, raise all the way to standing. This time as you exhale, take the right arm back, right leg lifts up and forward. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, twist to the left. Left leg comes forward, left arm goes back. Inhale through center. Exhale to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. Inhale through center. One more time on each side. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale here. Exhale, tap left elbow to outside of right knee. Knees stay in line. Inhale, center. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, left elbow, right knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, this time hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Make sure the knees are still in line and sink the hips back a little lower. Start to work the sternum towards the thumbs, the thumbs towards the sternum. Start to shift the weight onto the right foot, engage the right glute, and you're just going to draw the left heel towards the left butt cheek. Stay in your squat on the right leg. And then slowly, calmly step that left leg towards the back of the mat. You've ended up in your twist, twisted lunge. Set the left knee down if you need to, otherwise keep the left leg strongly lifting away from the floor. Keep working the sternum towards the thumbs. But most of all, focusing on length. here look down towards the floor set the left hand down you're stepping back side plank inhale here and then as you exhale you're going to bring the right forearm down open up forearm plank on the right left hand comes behind the head elbow wide take an inhale and then as you exhale tap left elbow towards the floor inhale to open it up Exhale to tap. 
inhale open three more inhale open in true baby side plank exhale forearm plank walk the feet in towards the elbows for a longer dolphin we've definitely done these before we're taking our dolphin push-ups as you inhale shift forward tap nose between the thumbs exhale take it back we're going for 10 make sure that the elbows stay underneath the shoulders no matter how many times you have to readjust them And then landing in your dolphin pose from dolphin we're going to shift all the way forward into our chaturanga so ground through the palms and as you start to shift forward lift the elbows off chest comes down inhale into your plank exhale downward facing dog inhale right leg sweeps up exhale right knee left elbow inhale open it up exhale right knee left elbow one more inhale three-legged dog exhale right knee left elbow shoot it through fallen triangle inhale open the left arm to the sky exhale dip the hips down to the floor inhale lift exhale to dip inhale to lift three more Inhale, lift the hip. Exhale, set the left hand down. Keep the right leg off to the right. Stay here for the stretch. Or maybe shift forward on an inhale. Exhale, fall and triangle chaturanga. Inhale, back to your fall and triangle plank. Exhale, normal chaturanga. Right leg comes back. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Same leg. Inhale, sweep that right leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, left hand down, right arm up. Come into your simple twist. We're going to take some big arm circles. So as you exhale, sweep the right arm to the back of the room. And then as you inhale, bring it all the way forward and around. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, forward and around. Keep strongly lifting through that back leg. Take three more. Time. as your hand passes your ankle you're going to set the hand down set the back knee down send the hips back Ardha Hanumanasana right toes can be flexed or pointed draw the right hip back take the left hand underneath the left shoulder on the fingertips or a block and then as you inhale you're going to open that right arm up to the sky coming into a baby twisted triangle Take one more inhale, and then as you exhale, set that right hand down. Ground down through the right foot. Step up onto the right foot. You're going to sweep the left leg all the way over to the right side of the mat. Come to the outside edge of the left foot. Left hand comes down, block fingertips or palm, and then sweep that right arm up to the sky. Feel free to stay here or take an inhale to open. 
exhale sweep that right arm down threading it underneath the left inhale to open exhale to thread we've got three more you should feel a nice hip opening in through that right hip This time as you inhale, step that left foot to meet the right, open the right arm to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, raise all the way up to standing, maybe coming onto the tippy toes. Hands behind the head. Lower the heels if you raise them. As you exhale, this time you're gonna crunch left knee, uh, sorry, left elbow, right knee. Inhale through center. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Inhale, center. Two more on each side. Nice and slow. Inhale, through center. Keep the hands behind the head as you exhale, fold using your hands as a little bit of a lengthener for the back of the neck bend the knees inhale chair pose exhale hands to heart center inhale stay here exhale tap right elbow left knee knees stay even inhale through center exhale left elbow right knee inhale center exhale right elbow left Inhale, center, exhale, left elbow, right. Inhale, center, exhale, hook the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Hips come back, knees are even, sternum to thumbs. From here, you're going to start to shift the weight into the left leg, draw the right heel in towards the glute, stay in your squat on the left leg, pick a point to gaze at, slowly, calmly step that right leg all the way to the back of the mat, landing in your twisted lunge. Left hip hugs towards the midline, lengthen the spine. down place the right hand down take an inhale step back into your side plank and then as you exhale left forearm comes down inhale baby vashi starts in our hand behind the head as you exhale tap right elbow to the mat inhale bring it up exhale to tap inhale bring it up three more Inhale, bring it up, side plank. Exhale, forearm plank. Walk the feet forward, coming into dolphin pose. Feel free to stay here. Take your dolphin push-ups, or maybe you're coming into pincher mayarasana. Or headstand. If you came upside down, slowly bring yourself back. And we're going to make that transition from forearm plank into chaturanga. So start to ground down 
sorry, from dolphin to chaturanga. So bring yourself back into dolphin pose, ground down through the hands, send the chest forward, chest down and forward. <laughs> Inhale to plank, exhale, however you got there. We're back in downward dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up, exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to elbow. Shoot the left leg across, fall in triangle. Inhale, open the right arm to the sky. Exhale, tap the hips. Inhale to lift. Exhale to tap. Three more. Inhale, lift the hips. Keep the leg as it is. Exhale, take the right hand down. Lift the back heel. Maybe stay here or inhale, shift forward. Exhale, fall in triangle, chaturanga. Inhale, send to plank, left leg back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, downward dog. Same leg as you inhale, sweep that left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Right hand down, inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, circle it to the back of the room. Inhale, brings you all the way forward. Exhale, circle it back. Inhale it forward. Take three more. This time as your hand passes by your foot, set the hand down to the mat, set the back knee down, straighten the front leg. Ardha Hanumanasana on your inhale. Right hand underneath right shoulder, exhale. Inhale, open up to the left side of your mat. Come into this twisted Ardha Hanumanasana. One more inhale. Exhale, set the left hand down, ground down through the left foot. Come all the way to standing. You're going to step the right foot all the way to the left side of the mat, coming to the outside edge of the right foot. Inhale, sweep the left arm to the sky. Feel free to stay here. Or as you exhale, you're going to scoop that left arm underneath the right. Inhale to open it up. Exhale to twist. Take three more. This time as you inhale, sweep that left arm up. Right foot comes to meet left. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Exhale, open twist, right arm back, left arm forward, bring the right knee in towards the chest. Either take left hand to outside edge of right foot or to the outside of the right knee. Wherever you are, the right hip drops down, the right rib cage is rotating backwards, but the right hip is coming slightly forward. Inhale, exhale, come back to center. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, left elbow, right knee. Feel free to stay here or coming up onto tippy toes, sinking the hips down, planting the hands, coming into your side crow. Maybe pivoting so that you're facing the top of your mat.
if you're in your side crow maybe you're hopping back into chaturanga however you want to get there we're all going to meet in downward facing dog inhale sweep the right leg up exhale step it forward open twist to the right inhale exhale hook left elbow right knee inhale here exhale we're going to do the reverse of what we did before you're going to draw the left heel in towards the glute and come into that balance inhale you're going to tap the toes to the back of the mat exhale draw them in inhale to tap exhale draw it in working that right glute three more this time inhale release pyramid pose left leg steps back heel is lifted right leg is straight keep drawing that right hip up and back in space Feel free to stay in a pyramid stance or come to a warrior one stance for twisted triangle. Wherever you are, the left hand is going to come down. The right arm is going to sweep up towards the sky, coming either into your twisted pyramid or your twisted triangle. forward stepping up into Ada sorry Parivrita Ada Chandrasana twisted triangle left hand underneath the shoulder the left leg is floating right hand can come to the sacrum or it can come up towards the sky From here, listen carefully, you're going to start to bring that left leg forward as you bend into the right knee, coming into a pistol squat. Whoops, maybe stacking it along the way. You can hold on to your foot, you can have the hands down on the ground, or maybe you're balancing up on your toe or your heel if you have the flexibility. And there, wherever you are, you're going to let the glutes come down to the floor. Stay with your right foot about a fist distance away from your left leg. Active through the left leg. Right hand behind you. Inhale, sweep that left arm up. And then exhale, you're either going to hook the elbow to the outside of the knee or you're going to hug the knee. Marucci Asana. From here, you're going to keep your twist. You're going to take your left hand, reach it down for the outside edge of the right foot, and then just extend your right leg, coming into twisted heron pose. Right hip slides forward slightly. Maybe the right hand can lift off towards the back of the foot. Poor dog behind us doesn't get very much attention, so I'm being very chatty. One more breath. From here, you're going to start to bend that right knee back towards you. Take both hands around the sole of the foot. You're going to start to take that right knee to the back of the shoulder. Flat the right hand down. We're coming to Ashtavakrasana. That right leg is like a backpack on your right arm. Left hand by the left hip. Lift the hips up. Lift the left leg. Hook the left foot over the right and then swing the legs over towards the right side of the mat. Back, back. 
option to transition to Kundinyasana from here. Start to straighten out through the arms. Left leg will feed through the gap in the arms towards the back of the mat. Kundinyasana B. Wherever you are, we're going to meet in downward dog. So take it through a vinyasa or set yourself down. We all meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale to cross. One more. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale to cross. Option, fall and triangle, floating fall and triangle, or grab a hold of the right foot with the left hand, coming into a version of Vishvamitrasana. Slowly releasing that right leg, sending it back, taking it through a vinyasa. Same leg, inhale, sweep that right leg up towards the front of the room. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, simple twist. Exhale, standing splits. Send the left leg off to the right side of the mat for that hip opener. Variation, inhale, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, we're coming into a Shiva squat, so you're just going to draw that left heel in towards the right glute. Stay in your twist. Option to keep the left hand down. Option to challenge your balance and see if you can hook that left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Oops. Set the left foot down. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Maybe raise onto the tippy toes. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, raise all the way to standing. Exhale, open twist, left arm back, right arm forward, left knee lifts. Either taking the right hand to the outside of the left foot, or the outside of the left knee. Left hip down, left rib cage back. One more inhale here. Exhale, set it down, come to center. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, right elbow to the outside of left knee. Feel free to stay here or raise the heels, sink it all the way down, coming into your side crow. From here, step, walk, float, make your way back to downward dog. Maybe you're hopping straight to Chaturanga from your side crow. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, come up into your open twist, left arm back. Exhale, hook right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Take an inhale here. Exhale, draw right knee to the inside of the left knee, right heel to glute. Inhale, just tap the toes to the back of the mat. Exhale, draw it in. Three more, try and keep that left leg as steady as you can. Try not to let the knee collapse into the midline. Step that right foot back, inhale into your pyramid pose. Right heel lifted, left hip drawing up and back as you fold over your left straight leg. Either staying in your pyramid stance or hopping that back foot in like a warrior one leg, right hand underneath, right shoulder, inhale, 
open it up into your twisted triangle or your twisted pyramid. Look down, step it up into your twisted half moon pose. Right leg strong and floating. Right rib cage working towards the left side of your mat without taking the right hip with you. Take one more inhale here, trying to remember where we went from here. As you exhale, you're going to step the right leg all the way to the back of the mat. Inhale into your simple twist. Exhale, take it through a vinyasa. I'm almost 100% sure that I missed something. I'm sure I'll figure it out in a bit. Inhale, take the left leg up. Exhale, tap left knee, right elbow. Oh, I know what he did. We went into a pistol squat. That's okay. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Maybe floating fallen triangle or grab a hold of that left foot with the right hand coming into your Vishwamitrasana variation. Releasing that left foot, take it through vinyasa. We meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left leg up. Exhale, step it forward to the front of the mat. Come up into a standing split, and then you're going to feed that right foot through, coming into our pistol squat, which I forgot. So you can have the heel down, you can have the hands on the floor. Maybe the heel is up, it depends on your flexibility. You can always hold on to the right foot and see if that allows you to get the left heel to the ground. And then you're gonna release the hips to the floor. Keep that right leg straight and active, left foot about a fist distance away from the right. Left hand back, inhale, sweep the right arm up. And then as you exhale, you're either going to hug or hook that left, elbow, uh, that left knee with the right arm. From here, you're going to keep your twist, release the right hand down to the outside of the left leg a uh, left foot and then you're just going to straighten out the left knee you can keep the left hand down or extend the left arm out behind you from here you're going to take yourself back to center Start to draw that left knee towards the back of the room and then hook the left knee to the back of the left arm. Plant the left hand down by the hip, wearing the left leg like a backpack. Right hand plants by the hip, lift the glutes off, hook right foot on top of left and then swing the legs over towards the left, Ashtavakrasana. Option if you want to, to come to Kundinyasana, start to straighten out through the arms, right foot feeds through the gateway of the arms, maybe, and then you land in your Kundinyasana. Wherever you are, we're going to meet in downward dog, however you want to get there. So 
nice deep inhale, open mouth exhale. And pick up where we left off, inhale, sweep that left leg up, exhale, step it forward. Inhale, come into a standing split, and then as you exhale, you're going to sweep that right leg all the way to the left side of the mat. Inhale, open up that left arm to the sky. And then as you exhale, you're going to bend through the right knee, draw the right heel into the glute, stay with the right hand down, or you can try and hook that right elbow to the outside of the left knee, coming into a twisted Shiva squat. Slowly release the hands, coming to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale to fold. One more time, inhale, bend the knees, chair pose. And then as you exhale, sink all the way down, 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 down onto the heels. One more fun little arm balance that we're gonna try. We're gonna come into funky crow. So I'm gonna face the long end of the mat. We're going to go towards the left first. So similar to what you would for side crow, instead, except instead of both of your hands being in line with the short edge of the mat, you're going to hook the right elbow. The right fingertips are going to face the long end of the mat. And then you're going to place the left hand next to it with the left fingertips facing the long end of the mat. Everything else is pretty much the same. You're going to start to put your weight of your left leg into the back of the right tricep. You might stay here or your next step is to slowly start to pivot the feet towards the front of the mat, the now front of the mat, as the left elbow comes down towards the mat. So my shins are kind of parallel now with the long end of the mat. My forearm is parallel whoops, with the short edge of the mat. The tricky bit is reversing that process. So you're going to start to take the feet towards the back of the mat as you lift <laughs> the elbow up and you come back into your Pajva Bakasana, ideally. Okay, feel free to pause and try that side, otherwise we're going to go to the other side. So this time you're going to hook your left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Left fingers face the long end of the mat. Plant the right hand next to the left fingertips facing the long end of the mat. Shift the weight into the back of the left tricep. Stay here or as your toes move towards the long end of the mat, your elbow is going to drop so that you're in like a um, pinch of my arasana arm on the right. And then you're going to try and reverse that process so the feet are going to come towards the back of the mat and you're going to try and lift your elbow up into Pajva Feel free to pause, have a play around with that. When you're ready, we're going to make our way into a boat pose and we're going to take some Russian twists. Feet can be down, feet can be up, palms come together in the center, take an inhale, exhale, tap to the right, inhale, center, exhale, tap left, inhale, center, exhale, right, inhale, center, exhale, left, eight more on each side. Inhale through center, exhale, set the feet down, sweep the right leg underneath you, bend it back on itself, and then stamp the left foot to the outside of the right knee, Adha Matsi Andrasana, left hand comes behind you, inhale, sweep that right arm up, and then exhale, 
hook the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. You can stay here or if you're really hanging out for one more arm balance, you're pretty much already there. You're going to really hook that right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Plant the hands down like chaturanga arms. Use the bottom leg as a kickstand to bring yourself up into this funky version of the side crow. If you came up into your arm balance, you're going to set yourself down. Take a brief rotation in the other direction. Inhale. And then exhale it back to center. Swap it out. Bend the left leg back on itself underneath you. Stamp the right foot to the outside of the left knee. Right hand comes behind. Inhale, sweep that left arm up. And then exhale, hook the elbow to the outside of the knee or just give the knee a hug. Once again, feeling free to stay here or taking one more arm balance, hooking that left elbow deep over the right knee. Plant your hands like chaturanga arms. Use that left foot as a kickstand. Give yourself leverage to get that right leg up onto the back of the left tricep. Setting yourself down when you're ready. Take a rotation to the other direction. Inhale. And then exhale. Send the legs out in front of you. Paschimottanasana. Nice active legs. Inhale. Sweep the arms up. Exhale. Keep the torso long as you fold forward. Reaching anywhere along the legs. Knowing that this was not a forward folding class, so this is probably not going to be the deepest expression of this pose. Slowly roll yourself up, and we're going to make our way slowly onto our back. setting up for bridge pose or a supported bridge pose feet hips distance apart hands down by the side take an inhale and then as you exhale ground down through the feet lifting the hips up maybe taking a block or a cushion to support under your hips or maybe interlacing the fingers opening up through the front of the chest the hands slowly rolling the hips down if you've had enough twisting feel free to come into another bridge pose and maybe a happy baby otherwise you're going to take the hands off to capital T cross left ankle over right knee draw the knees in towards you and then let both knees fall over towards the left right shoulder grounds down Draw it back to center, set the left foot down, cross the right ankle over the left knee, draw the knees in towards you, and then let the legs fall over towards the right. Drawing left shoulder down towards the ground, shoulders away from the ears. bringing yourself back through center giving your knees a squeeze in towards the body maybe taking a happy baby or any other poses you feel like you need to to make your practice complete now 
and when you're ready, coming into your final resting position, whatever that looks like for you. That may be a seated position today. Twists can sometimes make it uncomfortable to lie flat on the back. You can always take your legs up a wall. Maybe you need to take a few rock and rolls of the spine before you come into your final resting position. Whenever you get there, I encourage you to turn the palms up towards the sky. Close down through the eyes. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. Big open mouth exhale. Taking a few moments to let the body just settle and be still. Listening to the locusts or cicadas or whatever it is here in a deep Oklahoma. And please feel free to stay here as always for as long as you have time for it. Thank you so much for practicing with me today as you go forward. Maybe calm in your thoughts, kind in your words, and happy in your heart. Namaste. Mm -hmm.